grasp all, lose all. Royal fans drop major bombshell on Sussexes over choosing titles for their kids. Royal fans have reacted with fury over news that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may get to choose titles for Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1. Archie and Lilibet's titles have been up in the air following the Queen's death. They do not have HRH titles unlike their cousins Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7 and Prince Louis, 4. However, a rule set by King George in 1917 dictates that all children and grandchildren of the monarch automatically become princes or princesses and use HRH stylings. Speculation over the Sussex children's titles was ramped up after George, Charlotte and Louis saw theirs updated on the royal family website, in line with their father Prince William becoming the Prince of Wales. Archie and Lilibet remain as master and miss. There have now been claims that King Charles will let Harry and Meghan decide what titles their children take. Royal expert Roy Nicker told the Royal Beat, William and Kate's new titles were instantly updated and it's my understanding that this was discussed with father and son when Harry was over here and, Charles, said, what do you want? Harry, said, I'd like my children to be able to decide about their titles when they come of age, it's not my decision to make for them. And we can only do that if we keep the titles. They have the titles now but it's up to Charles whether he allows them to keep them, or whether he issues letters patent to remove them, and that is still unresolved. Reacting to the claims on Twitter, royal watchers weren't best pleased given Harry and Meghan's decision to leave the royal family and jet off to America. One person fumed, families trying to destroy the crown should not be given titles. Another said, I thought they stepped away from royal life. No titles should be given. Their titles should be just plain old Archie and Lilibet, another comment read. A fourth said, Harry Markle is in no position to demand a damn thing. A fifth person, speculating as to why there has not been an official announcement, said, Charles is waiting to see what's in Harry's book before making a decision. 100%. Prince William and Prince Harry remain at odds with each other and it looks like it will take a long time before the two settle their differences or not all. A royal expert claimed that the Duke of Cornwall might find it hard to forgive his brother due to his alleged disrespect to the royal family. It has been years since the royal siblings have been feuding, and no major family event or loss seems to help bring them together. Though rumours of it that Kate Middleton is eyeing to end their rift, will it work this time? Katie Nicholl, who wrote The New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's legacy and the future of the crown, revealed that the Prince of Wales wasn't ready to forget the past. When the Duke of Sussex decided to step down as a senior royal and left the monarchy, his brother was reportedly deeply hurt. She told Us Weekly that the future king found his brother's move difficult, which might be why their rift hadn't been resolved until today. She then claimed that Kate Middleton's husband couldn't completely forgive the fifth in line to the throne for his actions. The Sussexes didn't just affect Prince William himself, but also his wife and their three kids, Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4, putting them caught in the middle. It moved them center stage far sooner than they would otherwise have been, Nicol continued. She added that Prince William thought Prince Harry would always support him, but the latter chose to leave and stand down, resulting in a huge disrespect to the firm, his family, and their grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth II. But Nicol believes there's still hope for them to reconcile. King Charles III reportedly intends to end the royal family feud by trying to work things out. He knows this will linger over his reign and doesn't want this misunderstanding to continue in the royal family.